Hi guys, today we are going to look at how difficult it is for beginners to pan left and right and how a simple cigarette packet can make your life a lot easier. Let's go to the video. Okay, today I have someone very special here with me today. Her name's Noventa. Nice to meet you, Noventa. Nice to meet you too. Um, have you ever flown a drone before? Yes, but not so good. Not so good. So you wouldn't say you're an expert? No. No? Okay, well hopefully today we're going to work on your panning skills and we're going to introduce you to a little gadget that hopefully will help you to get a much smoother rotation of the camera. Um, so what she's going to do is she's just going to, go and put the drone up into the air and she's just going to pan left to right and then right to left. And she's going to do that several times for a couple of batteries and then we're going to add the gadget to the remote controller and she's going to do exactly the same thing with another couple of batteries. Um, and hopefully then when we come back we will take the best two shots, one from each set, and we will compare the two. Um, and hopefully we will see an improvement in the second um, video that we take. Okay, so are you ready to get outside and get on with it? Yes, I am. Yeah, have. let's go. Show me. Let's go. Okay, so we're off outside. We'll run the test and we'll see you back inside later. We're going to run the video um, side by side, the best shot from the first set and the best shot from when the gadget was applied to the remote controller, and we're going to see if there was a difference. So just take a look at the video and we'll see you in a second. seen the video I think we could clearly see that there was a definite improvement when the gadget was applied to the remote controller. Um, how did you feel Noventa when in terms of using the gadget? It makes me easier to control the joystick. So okay so you helps. think it's a good thing? Yes. Okay um, and, I, and I, I think what I saw was her confidence grew when she actually had that um, to use. So, um, I know Noventa is very busy, so um, yeah. I'm looking forward to beginning our classes next week. Yes, um, can't wait! <laughs> and um, that should be a lot of fun. So, I'm going to let you go now, and I'll say goodbye for now, and see okay. you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye. It's a bit more peaceful here now. Um, what I need to do now is to show you exactly what um, Noventa was working with so well and how you can make one very easily from a simple cigarette packet. 
what have we got here? Well, we have the remote controller right here, and then we have the gadget that we made out of the cigarette packet. Looks fairly flimsy. Um, it has a top of a pen that goes into the top of it, which gives it a little bit of substance at the top, and that simply slots on to the left-hand joystick, and that gives us a lot more control when we're panning and get it and helps us to get really lovely shots. Okay, so how did we make it? Well, let's have a look first at the physics of it. With the Spark and most other drones, panning is all about slow and steady. To achieve the angle makes the distance that the stick has to travel to and maintain very shallow, and that's what makes it hard to control. If you increase the height of the joystick, then while the angle is the same, the joystick has to travel a greater distance. This gives a much greater margin of error, makes it much easier to control, and therefore will help you achieve much smoother shots. Okay, so how did we make it? We simply took a cigarette packet, we emptied it out, and we separated it until we had a completely flat, oh, we need to get rid of the cellophane, until we had a completely flat piece of card. And that's pretty much what we were looking for. A completely flat piece of card. And that's pretty much what we had left. We had the front and the back, and then we cut it to size. You basically then just put that round the joystick, a little bit of tape, and roll it into a tube. Cover it with a little bit of tape, and then you get your little tube. Add the pen top into the top and then that will fit really snugly over the left joystick. And there you have it. It's a very very simple thing to make. And it's as easy as that to make. And I think that what we've seen with the physics and what with Noventa's demonstration here today is that it can improve your piloting skills, your panning skills as a beginner a great deal. It's nice to have that confidence to put the drone in the air and to know that when you pan around that you're going to get a smooth, nice, easy shot. Of course you're going to have to learn to do it eventually just with a joystick, but as a beginner this is going to make your life a lot easier um, and it will help you to learn how to control that left joystick. Um, if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch um, with how Noventa's tutorials go and how she progresses over the next few weekends. Um, and I'm looking forward to it, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun. Okay, well that's it for this video um, and all that's left to say is stay happy and keep flying.